Hello and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For last time, we played through the Leaf Cup on Mirror Mode, and today we were going to we are going to be playing through the Lightning Cup on Mirror Mode, and we are going to be using Baby Luigi because I've selected the random number generator, or I've used the random number generator to pick uh, number 16 of 42, and that is Baby Luigi. So we use him. We unlocked a new car between episodes when I went to go back and re and actually get the triple start ranking for the Leaf Cup. And what did we unlock? We unlocked the Wild Wiggler. So we use this today, and we we'll use them along with the. Uh, uh, well, we'll use the retro off-road tires, uh, along with the parachute, here are the stats, and once again, we want to make sure those Mars and Oxidation are indeed disabled, and so without further ado, let's dive into the Lightning Cup on Mirror Mode. Let's do this. Oof. Okay, so I, I've, I've been kind of pretty close with a turbo start with recent episodes, so I'm honestly... I honestly was kind of surprised I didn't get a, a full start sooner than that, but regardless. So, uh, you may have noticed that my the car setup that was that was left over between recordings was not the Wario Steel Driver Metal Tire Waddle Wing setup that I used previously. It was something that had a much greater acceleration on it because, as it turns out, uh, using a, a, a cart setup that has ridiculously high s speed stats with barely any acceleration stats is only pain. So I decided if I wanted to try to triple star rank it, I was actually gonna need to use a car setup that wasn't total dog crap. So I decided to change it into something that actually took more than five years to get up, to get moving again after you after you took hit by something. So that's why it looked to be a different car setup than what we had set up previously. Uh, anyway, back to talking about topics that are suggested by you guys, the viewers. This is a topic that I honestly didn't ever think I'd, I'd get to, or I, I would need to, or want to talk about, but, um, so someone asked me what my thoughts are on extra credits, and the, I, I recognize the name, obviously, I think everyone who's on YouTube recognizes the name extra credits, but I've never actually seen any one of the videos, so to be honest with you, I don't really have much to say, because I, like, I can't speak to the, their production value or the, my thoughts on their videos in general, I just I can't really speak to that. So, all, all I can say is that I, I, I know about that, um, I know about the one video that everyone knows about with extra credits that has, like, the worst like this like ratio on the platform, or if not the worst, then one of the worst, because it was a terrible video from what I've heard. I think it was called, like, Socially Conscious Game Design or something like that. I never watched it, but I, I, I've heard some stories about what it was talking about, and it's like, okay. You guys don't understand how, like, anything works, so, um, yeah, have, have fun with that massive massively negative like to dislike ratio. Enjoy that while it lasts, I suppose. Um, but I, I've never seen any of their content, so I can't really... I was, I was actually going to watch some of their videos in preparation for this recording to kind of see if I could get my thoughts on them. But then I loaded up their channel, and the first video that I saw on their uh, on their homepage uh, was a video entitled something along the lines of Are Streamers Stealing Video Game Sales? Or something like that, and I'm just like, all right, yep, nah, I'm not watching this. I don't need to. I'm not gonna. I've I, I've heard enough from from the backlash they got after making that one video. I don't think I need to watch any of their other videos to get a sense of uh, their writing talent and their belief system and all that. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. In case you're wondering, the exact like to dislike ratio in that video is 21,000 likes to 321,000 dislikes, give or take. Um, and I'm sure that'll get even worse as the years go by. But yeah, it's um, it, it that that video has been memed to death, from what I can tell, rightfully so. So I don't really have any intention of watching it because I've I think I've heard enough from other people. So. Uh, don't really have any thoughts on extra credits as a channel. I'm sure, you know what, I'll say this, I'm sure they have some great stuff, I'll be honest. I'm sure that some of their videos are really great and have a lot of substantive points to it. I'm sure they have a lot of knowledgeable things to say. Cause I, like, you know, I don't really hear a lot of people saying like, extra credits is 100% garbage, just that this one video was the big doo-doo. Uh, so, or the big doo-doo, so uh, yeah, for all I know, they, they could have some really quality stuff and I don't wanna 
spread any misinformation on. I don't want to make it seem like I think all this stuff is garbage, because I, I don't. I, heck, I haven't even seen their, the one video that everyone talks about, so I don't know. I can't really, I can't in earnest say that I know enough about the subject. Uh, but I can talk about the, the, the video to topic that I saw on their channel, which is the idea of, are streamers ripping video game sales? And the answer is, um, no. And I'm getting very sick and tired of both companies and people, because, well, I'm implying that, never mind. I, 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 I almost implied that people who work at company, like, the higher-ups at companies aren't people, but, whatever. So the, uh, but what I mean by that is, like, the, the people, the, the people working at major gaming companies and developers and publishers uh, will say this, as well as just average, everyday gamers will say this, in the sense that there are some people on this planet, for some insane reason, I've refused to, okay, that was unfortunate, Refuse to let go of the idea that YouTubers and streamers are actually, like, take, can you, can you, can you, okay, can we get hit by any more insane things, like, how, how many more crazy items you got, you want to throw my way? Yeah, how about a bullet bill, maybe, maybe a spiny show for third place, mix it up a bit, maybe, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting hit by everything the world has to offer me at the moment. Anyway, so, um, no, they're not, it's not, like, okay, so, like, pe people will unironically say that YouTubers and streamers are bad for the industry because they're taking sales away from the developers and publishers because why would you play a video game when you can just watch a YouTuber play through it? Which is just about the dumbest sentiment I think I've heard on this planet, which is saying quite a lot, because let's just take the game I'm playing right now. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. You watching me play- I, I'm willing to bet that most of you watching this right now are not watching because you just want to see me race, because my commentary right now isn't really about me racing, like, by- occasionally it will be. But most of the time it's just me talking about random topics, so... Like, you cannot get the same experience playing this game as you are watching me play the game right now. And I'll talk about this more in the next race. And they go, this just goes for any game, just in general, any, any, like, puzzle game, or adventure game, or just, just any game in the world. Like, it's not, it's, 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 it's not, like, cause, it, so, like, the, 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 the comparison obviously is movies, right? Like, if I were, if, if I were to stream me reacting to a movie, there's a little more wiggle room there, but even then, like, even, cause obviously, the, watching the movie versus watching someone else watch the movie is a little more wiggle room, but even then, you still aren't getting the same experience. Like, for instance, there, there's some people, um, who do, do, like, I know when The Mandalorian was coming out, there were some people who were doing reactions where they would, like, watch the video, watch the, the, the show as it was, as it was playing, and then, like, provide their commentary on, you know, things like that. And even then, like, there, there, there's, there's room for you to say, oh, well, watching the show is the same as watching them watch the show. To which I would say, well, even then, you're still getting someone else's commentary on it, which you can't obtain by simply watching yourself. And, like, obviously, if it's just someone who has this, who, who is streaming the movie, like, this, they're just watching it and they're not saying anything, then that's like, yeah, you're just ripping the content. And you're, not adding, you're, not, you're not adding anything of your own to it. You're not, adding, you're not adding your own substance. You're just watching the film or the show or whatever. Uh, but it, when it comes to games, there really is no room for you to say that you get the same experience by watching someone play it as you do so, as someone playing it. Because games require you to actually take, like, input. Like, you as the player have to have a controller in your hand or a keyboard or mouse, depending on how you prefer to play. And you have to press the buttons. You have to move around the analog sticks. Move the character. Drive the car. Whatever the case may be. You, a a any, no two people can experience a game the same way. It just can't happen. It's not the No matter what the game, there will always... Unless it's literally just a cutscene, in which case, that's just a movie at that point. Which there was no room for play room for whatsoever. There is no way for you to get the same experience as another human being. Because everyone's going to play differently. And there's no way for you to get the same experience as watching someone else play it. Because you watching me race in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe right now, is not the same as you actively racing around in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's just not how that works. So I'm getting a little sick and... And, and to be clear... It's entirely possible that the conclusion at the end of the extra credits video is that they actually agree with the idea that no streamers aren't ripping away sales from video from uh, from video games. And if that is the solution, if, that, if that's the conclusion they come to, then you know, good for them. They they came to an intelligent, reasonable conclusion. Uh, but whether or not they did, I don't. It doesn't really matter because I'm more just talking about the general subject of streamers and YouTubers potentially ripping sales from video games in general, not specifically what they had to say on it, but. 
Okay, so uh, there is one more thing I want to talk about before we end off this video, and it's probably the most wiggle room you have in terms of countering the idea that YouTubers and streamers don't rob game sales and people. It's the idea of story-driven games. I'll give my thoughts on that in just a second. So aside from the fact that you can't get the same experience watching someone play a game as just playing the game yourself, therefore it's not the same, like, you can't, I can't rob an experience from you that it, when the experience that you, I'm providing you isn't the same as what you would get by playing the game. Additionally, there are numerous instances in the past, both on YouTube and on Twitch, where people see me playing a game and they're like, hey, that game looks fun, I want to play that game for myself, and, like, that, that is nothing but advertising for the game itself. The, there is, like, the amount of instances in the past where not just me, like, I'm not saying this, I'm the only one who does this, I'm not the only one who does this, many other YouTubers will play a game that maybe no, like, whether it's a mainstream game or just an obscure game, th that will cause people to look at it and go, hey, that game looks fun, or hey, I've never heard of that game before, and then they'll play it for themselves. Like, it's an unequivocal good thing for the, for the developers and publishers that YouTubers, the Let's Plays and streams exist of these games. Uh, but the obvious, the obvious counter there that some people say is, well, what about story-driven games? There's no reason to, for one someone to want to buy a story-driven game if they can just watch the story on YouTube. And the answer is, no, that's still not true, because for one thing, in some instances the story-driven games are choice-driven, meaning that every single person playing through will make different choices in the story, and it will be different every time. Now, in some instances, you may see, you may see something like, oh, well, well, with Ace Attorney, there are no choices. You just play through the game in a linear fashion, and you get the story. Even then, I would say that you you get two different things. Like, so, some people, some not everyone wants to hear a person chattering in their ear. Like, you, no, everyone, not everyone wants to hear me yammering on about random things while they experience the Ace Attorney story. Sometimes they just want to experience it for themselves, which makes them, encourage them to go buy it for themselves. And I, I don't even need to really prove this, because I have people... I've had people tell me in the past, specifically on my Danganronpa 2 Let's Play, they said, I, I've watched this game, I'm going, I'm not going to watch the rest of the, uh, watch the rest of the, watch the rest of the LP yet, because I want to, uh, I want to buy the game for myself and play through it, then I'll come back and watch the rest of it. And then they did it, because they appeared, re reappeared in the comment section a, 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 week or, a week or so later. This, these things happen. Even with story-driven games, people can watch someone play through it, say, hey, I want to play that for myself, and I don't want to have, uh, I, I don't want to listen to a commentary track while I'm playing, I want to listen to it after the fact. So they buy it for themselves, play it, and then watch the YouTuber or the streamer play through it. It is an unequivocal good thing for the industry that these things exist, and I, I, I'll never be able to understand the perspective of people who say that it's actively detrimental or that it's stealing video game sales. It's, it, it's such an absurd concept. And that's it for this video. Uh, we didn't lock anything, but I'm sure we'll lock something next time. And no, we're not watching the credits again. We've already, we've already, we've already seen these. Okay, so that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time, and I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Goodbye.